previously on Divorce Court. Your Honor, I'm here because I want to divorce my wife. I feel like she's inconsiderate, she's careless, and I'm really just sick of it. He's ready to call up into this marriage. I want to save my marriage. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to save my marriage. I love my husband. I love my kid. So we got married, and a couple months after we got married, she goes to jail. And at this time, she's six months pregnant. What in the world? Unfortunately, my cousin died. I had his ashes in a necklace that I had. She had the necklace on when she went out, but when she came home, it was gone. I did apologize to him. No apology. Nothing could amount to that, because that was a, a very special piece. Your Honor, he lost my wedding band. She burned down Excuse the Excuse me, front. you deflecting. Did you apologize to the woman because you lost her ring? No, Your Honor. Before we got married, Your Honor, we was tanning it up. But after the marriage, it's like, it just, it stopped. So, you know, we're trying to spice things up. We added another woman to the mix. You know, it was her idea. Once again. Being the divorce court judge, seeing hundreds of cases, we can legitimately tell you it has never worked. But we wanted to try something new, Your Honor. Okay. And what but happened? <laughs> everything was good. You know, until a cousin came, they got into the argument, and for some reason, they when they made up, the cousin came to me the next day and she was saying, like, hey, um, I think her and you know, my my friend are still messing around. You know, her Is this the third person? Yes. So and I, and I was like, what? I was like, why would she tell me something like that? So I told her, you know, I was like, what's going on? She was like, I didn't do that, you know. I don't know what she's talking about. Why would she tell you that? So I don't know what to believe. Yeah, she's, telling she's telling me she's one thing. She's telling me one thing. She's been known to lie all well, the time. We wait, Nunu, we're talking, wait, are we talking your cousin, Unique Owens? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she's here to testify. She's a liar. Everybody in the family knows she's a liar. He knows she's a liar. I don't know anything, Your Honor. But, but this I'm is the cousin that was over at the house and, that's and they had an you... argument. Is that correct? Yes. yes, Your Honor. So you don't trust Nunu? I don't. I but would she, like has, to... she has no reason to lie to me. Well, I tell you what, I don't know if she has a reason to lie to you, but she has a reason to lie on me. She may have a reason to lie on her, but she has no reason to lie to me. So I'm about to figure that out. Will you please ask the witness to uh, come in for me? Thank you sure. very much. Because it's clear Mrs. Bell don't trust her, and we're gonna figure out why. Welcome, Ms. Owens. I appreciate you being here. How you doing? Yeah, Will you man. please introduce yourself <clears throat> for the court? Your name? I'm Unique. Um, I'm Deasha's cousin. So you and uh, the defendant are actual cousins, family? Mm-hmm. We first cousins grew up together. Okay, so something tells me there's a little bit of conflict, okay? You contacted the court to say you had evidence as it relates to mm -hmm. the plaintiff. She's a liar, Your Honor. Why are you mm -hmm. in court testifying in support for the plaintiff, because Mrs. Bell says you got something against her, and I want to get to the bottom of that. So, I don't have nothing against Deasha, really. Um, but I'm here on behalf of Rob because of the simple fact he's a good man, you know, he takes good... care of home. He does. He makes sure everything that she wants, she could possibly think of, she gets, he you does. know. But she's she's being sneaky. She's being real sneaky. She's messing with one sneaky. of my best friends you behind his back. Talk about sneaky. Mm. You sneaky being messy, like but lying. Finish, being messy, though. Lying. Talking. Let me finish. Let so, me finish. Don't get so defensive. Anyways, like I wrong. said, she just mad if he wasn't being sneaky, you wouldn't be defensive, like he said. But she's being sneaky. You know, she's... It's one thing to have threesomes. You know, y'all doing it together. Y'all enjoying it together. But you're going behind his back, still How dealing you know with the I'm same person. Wait one second. Hold on a minute. Miss Owens, Miss Bell, yes, tell me. You look like you're about to be emotional because you're upset about something. I am. I want to hear why you're upset. She's a liar. Secondly, take your time. She's She's been mad at her best friend because me and her best friend been hanging out and been causing conflict with that, and then now you're causing I'm conflict with my husband. Second, Mrs. Owen. So it's just like... So you, you, I want to be very clear on what the issue is. Yes, Your Honor. You think that your cousin is, quote, being messy... Yes, Your Honor. ...because you have taken her place in her best friend's life as a friend. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Miss Owens... You say that's not the case at all. Mm-mm. Not at all. Because me and my best friend still get our time, so I wouldn't be jealous of her and what they got going on. Sure. But at the same time, my problem is that she's leading on my best friend. Oh, we gonna yeah. be together. I'm gonna leave what my is... husband. What? Da -da -da -da. See, so that's... I gotta pick See, up the pace. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? What you talking about? That is 
a serious allegation, Miss Owens, that Miss mm -hmm. Bell is leading on a third party leading her to believe that there is a real relationship there. Is that what the allegation is? Yes, and I submitted the evidence to the court. So... Ms. Bell? Your Honor, I'm... Like I said, she's sneaky. I don't trust anything she say, so... Well, let's I'm see. Because, you know, I like to see what the evidence is. I need mm -hmm. to see it up close and personal. Okay, wait. Who is the blue? The blue is me. This me, the, um... White message, that's my best friend. One so, my you are friends. talking to the young lady that we are de describing right now? Yes. Um, because... so, so, according to the first blue is leading you on what I miss. So, in mm -hmm. other words, something wow. happened ahead of that yeah. message where your best friend said she's been, quote, led on. Is that fair? Yes, ma'am. She texted me saying... Um, oh, so now I'm was... reading. Wow, Yes, that's that I should let her on. Um, she's yeah. telling her... So, pretty much me and her and Belle had a threesome a while back, and me and Di continued to mess around. I'm in love with your cousin. I never told you, wow, but I'm tired crazy. of hiding it. She oh, wouldn't Donna. tell me. She wouldn't tell how me, can, you know. How, how can I control somebody else's feelings? Wait, one how, second. How could you do that? What? I have not been messing how, no, around with could, her. How could you do that? So I she lying on everything you? that lying. I do. She lying. So everybody just lying on you. You don't want to that I do. Okay, here you go. I stop, stop, stay stop, home. stop, 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 stop. Did you continue to have a relationship with this young lady outside of the threesome? No, Your Honor. You did not? No, Your Honor. You never saw her intimately again after the threesome. Now, you know I'm asking very specific questions, and I'm good at what I do. Yes, so you're either going to lie to me or you're going to tell the truth. Did you continue to have a relationship with this young lady outside of the threesome? That's a question that I need to ask you. No, Your Honor. You did not? No, Your Honor. You never saw her intimately again after the threesome. Now, you know I'm asking very specific questions, and I'm good at what I do. Yes, Your so Honor. you're either going to lie to me or you're going to tell the truth. Your Honor, I can't control how someone feels. I didn't after. ask you about her feelings because... She might feel one way or the other. I ask you about your actions. I want to know about your actions. Outside of the time that the three of you enjoyed each other intimately, did you ever have an intimate encounter with this young lady separately? That's a very specific question. Yes, Your Honor, one time. Oh. I thought the answer was no. All I do is sit at home and take care of this kid. All I do is make sure you got everything that you need, everything that you want. And this how you do me? This how you do? And you wonder why we sitting here now? Mr. And you wonder, you trying to make this work? That's crazy, man. All I ever did was try to love you the best that I could do. And I know I'm not perfect, but I do what I think is right. And I try my hardest every single day to make sure everything is good. We all good. And that's how you come in? And you know that man love you, Dale. Okay. You know I that. Know he did. And then okay. on top of that, for you to be my okay. cousin, and you, you sitting here and you lying to me, you could have told me the truth. But you want to lie, you want to lie to him, and you want to make it seem like everybody lying on you. It was one time. What I got to lie on you for, Dave? You, you always lying. I'm nope, always stop. lying, but now you I don't that put that up. on her, Mrs. Bell. Yes, Your Honor. Your cousin came in here to make you confront your truth. Now, mind you, you have your own truth. You have to be truthful to yourself. And if, in fact, you want to be with someone else, you have a right to say, my needs have changed. But what you don't have a right to do is hurt other people in the process. You can't hurt this third person by leading that third person to believe that there's a chance of your relationship. Yes, you are. OK? You can't hurt your husband, who is taking care of your child, and make him believe that there's a possibility of a real marriage. You can't do that. That's the one thing you cannot do. 
You can choose to be happy yourself, but you cannot choose to make others unhappy. You guess your honor. Babe, I apologize. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to do it. I'll, I'll do anything to fix, fix this. I don't want to hear it. Mr. Bell, your wife wants to say something to you for the first time. Mrs. Bell, I'd like you to talk to your husband and tell him the truth of what's going on with you and your marriage and what you need and what you want. And then stand in authenticity and be a grown woman to hear his response. Don't hide from it. Tell him what's going on and what you want to come out of today. And then be prepared for how he responds. I have the divorce papers in front of me. They are properly filled out and you have signed them. I can give them back or I can serve them. You tell me. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Babe, I want us to communicate better, um, understand each other a little bit more, and spend more time together. I think that's where a lot of our issue come in at. We're not spending enough time together. You're not hearing how I feel, and I'm not hearing how you feel, but I'll do anything to make this work. Mr. Bell, I want to just say to Ms. Owens, I appreciate the fact that you helped at least put the truth on the table so that the young lady who is involved in this can be her own human being. Mm -hmm. So she deserves to have happiness. Mrs. Bell, do you have any ongoing feelings about this person? No, Your Honor, I don't. Do you want to be in a relationship with this person? No, Your Honor, I only want to be with my husband. Child, stop playing with people. That girl, that girl called my phone crying every other day because of what you tell her when ain't nobody else listening. I... I just don't know what to say. Ms. Owens, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you um, sharing real evidence. Mm -hmm. And it's very clear that no matter what other people say in your family, in this instance, you had the truth for you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you Thank being you. here. Mr. Bell, you heard what your wife said. This is a lot for anybody to handle, and I want to make sure you understand. You all have a family together. You have a child together. This is gonna take some work. If, in fact, there's still something here. Mr. Bell, do you love your wife? I do, Your Honor. And I don't think there's ever gonna be another man that's gonna treat you and love you the way that I do. I don't want nobody else. Everything that I do, I do it for our family because I want us to be good at all times, no matter what is going on. I understand that people are not perfect. But if this is what you want to do, if you really want to do this, I'm willing to give it a shot. But this is it. Ain't no other chances after this. I oh. can't keep going, doing this back and forth. I can't keep doing that. Robert, will you retrieve the papers? Because I know that Mr. Bell brought divorce papers to court. <laughs> Mr. Bell, I heard what you just said to your wife. And Mrs. Bell, I'm sure you heard what he just said. Yes, Your Honor. Marriage takes a lot of work. And you're going to have to rebuild trust because you've not been honest with him. And clearly, there are some needs that you are uh, having met by somebody else. And for some reason, I feel like they're emotional needs rather than physical needs. Mr. Bell, and I'm not casting aspersions saying that you're not fulfilling her emotional needs, but there's something that has not been said. You all don't know how to talk to each other in a way that is respectful. You're not considerate enough of each other. I think you need some help learning what marriage is really about. And this court is willing to serve these papers if you want. 
but I'm also willing to offer you specific marriage counseling. Somebody who can sit down with you to teach you how to communicate, to help you learn, as you know better than anyone, the rules of engagement. To help you be as successful in your marriage as you all have been in your careers. But I only need to know if you're willing to do that, Mr. Bell. Do you want the help? Honestly, Your Honor, I don't think the trust is there anymore. This is about do you want to rebuild the trust? Clearly, the trust is not there because trust has been broken. I don't want to rebuild it, Yona. So, I'm going to ask you some questions, some very serious questions, because this is the signs of whether or not you can rebuild trust. Do you have a willingness to work on the relationship, Mr. Bell? I feel like I'm burnt out of this relationship. Do you have the ability to give your partner time? Do you want to create new memories? Co-parenting. Yes. Do you think you could ever reignite the connection between the two of you? No, Your Honor. Mrs. Bell, your husband has said... Because those are what would be necessary to rebuild the trust. And you'd have to be willing, Mr. Bell, to put forth that effort. I have the divorce papers in front of me. They are properly filled out. And you have signed them. I can give them back or I can serve them on the defendant. You tell me. I'm, I'm just really conflicted right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I can hand I them back to know. you or I can serve her. And by the way, if I hand them back, I'm going to insist that you all sit down with a marriage counselor. Because if nothing else, you, sir, need time to reflect on what occurred. And I'd be willing to give you a private session and Mrs. Bell a private session so that you get a chance to express what's going on with that conflict inside can't of do, you. Can we do that? That's up to you and Mr. Bell. Mrs. Bell, are you willing to do that? I'm willing to do that. Mr. Bell, are you willing to do that? I'm willing to give it a shot. But this is it. Your Honor, if this doesn't work, then there's no hope. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna tear these up. I'm gonna hand them back. Give them back to the plaintiff. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Bell, this is serious enough that your husband came to court with divorce papers signed. He got the answers to the questions that he's been having. You stood in authenticity for the first time. You need to remain in that place. Because in order for you to rebuild the trust that you have clearly broken, yes, you're going to have to do some real work on yourself. And you're going to have to be patient enough to allow Mr. Bell the time that he needs to look at you again and trust what you say. Thank you, Your Honor. Is that fair, Mr. Bell? Yes. Mr. Bell, Mrs. Bell, I really do wish you the best. This court will oversee marriage counseling and individual counseling to make sure you all get the assistance that you need. Do anything. I'm sorry. Robert, I did not expect to have to do a cross examination today. This was definitely an emotionally tough one. Yes, it, I mean, just watch this young couple mm -hmm. go through such conflict. Right. Um, she clearly is not getting her emotional needs met, and she has not been authentic no. in this marriage. Absolutely not. There's only one thing that I know 100% new, new, new. New, new, new. And now, everybody else know now. Mm -hmm. Made in Georgia.